Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have some great new updates to share with you about grading. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so we're gonna talk about grading. First, let's just talk about some new fun updates we have with grading. First, now, right now I have monochrome here. But if I switch to front texture surface, I'll see that I have a graphic. And if I go over to my toggle menu, which I use to switch out of monochrome surface to texture, I can then go to this t-shirt here and say, show grading. And now what I'll see is my grading and even with my graphics too. So you'll see all of your grading all at once and all of that, which is really nice and helpful. So cool, easy win. And that's how you can see all of your grading. So again, it's over in the toggle in your 2D window, go to your garment display, the little t-shirt, and then you can say show grading. So then you can see grading if you, even if you aren't selecting like a grading tool. So. Now I'm going to talk to you about some more like in-depth stuff with grading, especially with the define grading point, which we just added in 2025.1. So I'm going to go to my edit grading tools over here and I'm going to select my edit grading. Once I select my edit grading, First off, I'll see all the grading immediately. Then I'll see that all of my points have this like green halo around it, right? So that's telling me all of these points are graded points. Everything that's green has a graded point. So at first this kind of made a lot of frustration because if I have a point like this and I selected this point and then increased, or decreased, you can see how just this one little part is increasing and decreasing. And then you're like, oh, why? Right? You're probably feeling exactly how I just said it. Like, everything sucks. I get it. Don't worry. We're, we fixed it. Okay. We made it better. Right. I can even go to this point. Right. And I increase this and you're like, are you serious right now? Why? 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 This is why. So what you can do is right now you're probably seeing this and you're like, oh, is it these points? No, these are internal lines and you just have to make sure you grade your internal lines. There's actually quite a lot of curve points here. Now you might be like, Phoebe, how do you know that? Well, I helped develop the software. So that's how I know some of these things. But I also know it because this is a curve and I just have a feeling that there's a lot of curve points. You can know it too though by going over to edit curve grading and then you'll start to see the graded the red dots with the green and then you'll see oh wow there are a lot of curve points what you'll then see is if you select holding down shift all of these points right at once this is the old method you could select all of these points at once then it's like starting to help and move Now, I'm not going through that long process. That's kind of trash. I'm not doing it. So what you can do is you can select these red dots right here. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm holding down shift and I'm clicking with my right mouse button. Just one single click on all of those red dots with the green around it. I'm releasing shift. I'm now, sorry, I was left clicking all of them. My bad. I was, let me redo this. I'm holding down shift, left clicking, one left click all at a time, left, one, one left click, holding these down, releasing shift. Now I'm going to right click right on top of one of these points and then a drop down will come up and I'm going to select convert to non graded point. Now, these have all been converted to non-graded. I'm gonna zoom in, I see I missed one. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna left click and then right click right over it and say convert to non-graded point. Amazing. 
Now, now you're going to say like, what does that do? Okay. So on our left side, all of these curve points are still graded on our right side. They are not. So watch this. When I click this point and I increase, oh, I missed one. See people, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to now go back to my edit grading, select this, increase. You see how now everything's graded proportionally and increased. I can also select the ease too. I can hit control Z. Wow. I'm going to hit control Z. And I'm going to select this point and this point and increase. Okay. What just happened here? These, all of these curve points still have to be, um, turned as non-graded points as well. But you see how like you can start to have gra like proportional grading now because it's proportionally grading up and out. Look at that. That's kind of cool, right? So I just wanted to break down how it will work, right? You left click, you left click the points you don't want in grading, right click, and then you say convert to non-graded. Probably should have showed you that in the, on the screen. So whatever. You left click on the points you don't want, right click, convert to non-graded. That's how, that's how it works. Now, some best practices we might say. This is what I think some good practices are. First off, go into your um, edit curve point tool, select that and see how many curve points you've got. Okay. I've got quite a lot on this neckline. I think too many. So what I'm going to do is with my edit pattern tool, I'm actually going to select this whole neck opening, right click on top of the line and say, optimize curve points. Now this is going to like give me what an optimized curve point is. And I'm going to say, okay, that sounds good. Now, when I go to my edit curve points, you can see that once I've optimized it, they automatically changed to not being graded points and the grading adjusted with it. And that's like a really nice and fast worker like workflow for you to use. Because then I can just move this or I can hold down shift, select both of these and increase these together. And you see how much faster and easier that is. And it's all grading proportionally together how I want it to. Again, you can use your arrow key movement. So you might ask Phoebe, how are you like adding grading? I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to increase and decrease. And then over here in your arrow key movement, I can say like 0 0.025, hit enter. And that's how I'll control like exactly how much higher I'm going up and down. Right. And this is really nice. So again, what I did to make it so that not, I didn't have to worry about curve points. I'm going to show it to you on this armhole. I'm going to first go to my edit curve point tool, see all of these curve points and see how they're all have grading. I'm then going to go to my edit pattern tool, select this and this right click on top of the line, optimize curve points. Now this curve changed quite a bit. So I'm going to hit use this slider so that I get back to that curve that I, this curve, I'm going to hit okay. Now I'm going to go to my edit curve point tool and automatically like my edit grading curve point tool right here, edit curve grading, those curve points change to non graded points automatically for you. So you don't have to go through the work and then it grades proportionally as well, all automatically for you, which is really, really helpful and really, really fast. Because now you see over here in this sleeve, if I don't want to optimize it, I'll have to go through holding down shift and just select all of these curve points. Now I could marquee over these curve points like so, 
and then right click convert to non-graded point and then that will happen and that will be really nice and fast right click convert to non-graded and then great or again i can just go to my edit pattern tool select the line right click optimize curve point make sure that the curve stays close to what i want it to be hit okay and then automatically we'll change it so that they don't have the curve points are not graded which is really nice and helpful you might also be asking me okay so you're showing me a lot about like curve points, what about segment points? Segment points can also be turned off for grading. So let's use this neck opening right here as well. Let's say for this point right here, I also, sorry, this point right here, I also don't want this to be a graded point. I can right click, convert to non-graded point, and you can see it automatically starts following everything else. So every time you decide to say convert to non-graded point, the grading for that point will just follow whatever the rules are to the points closest to it that are graded. So it's then going to proportionally follow the other two. So I can then select this and start increasing it or decreasing it and it will start to follow it. And you can always select a point again, right click and say convert to graded point. So if you want to convert it back to a graded point, you can do that. And again, all it takes is a select. Let's right click. You can convert to non-graded point or you can select right click, convert to graded point. Both work easy. You can do it for both segment points and curve points very quickly and easily. I might even want to do it for this curve point here because I want this to be smoother. So I'll go to my edit grading. Oh, sorry. I'll go to my edit curve point curve, select this curve, right click, convert to graded point. And then I might want to start to lower this, right? And then I might select this one and lower this a bit more so that this all works. I can even go to my edit grading each, right? And I can start to maybe smooth this out a little bit, or I can just zoom in. And this is just editing, editing each size on your own. So I can, of course, do that and edit each size on my own. Really, really helpful. It gives you a lot of power back. Another really nice best practice for this is if you want to, you can go, I'm just going to go and open, I'm just going to import actually a DXF. So what I'm going to show you is a nice workflow. If you're just bringing in a DXF to have everything prepared for you, I'm going to hit no. Okay, so here I have my DXF pattern, brought this in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check how my curve points are because I did optimize them, but I'm going to just check how many there are. So I went to my edit curve point tool and there's still quite a lot of curve points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edit pattern tool and I'm just going to select my back and my front. I'm going to right click and say optimize curve points i'm gonna hit okay and i'm going to select my sleeves as well right click and say optimize curve points hit okay and now i'm going to go into my grading now this file was already graded and when i went into my grading and even when i went into my like curve points grading, you even saw that the green halo isn't around here, but there is a halo around these. So when I do go into my grading, I can go into my edit grading tool here and even my edit curve point grading. And I'll see that none of my curve points have grading into them 
because I optimized all of the curve points when I brought this in. So that automatically made it so that the curve points weren't going to be graded. It was going to, they weren't going to have any graded points to them, which is really great because that's a really fast and easy way to make sure that like you don't have to worry too much about grading and making sure that it grades proportionally. So here I can just quickly and easily go through with my edit grading tool and I can start to just use my arrow keys and add in the grading. Again, I might want to change this around, but I've just been like randomly adding. I'm not like truly adding here, but you can see here like, oh, you know what? Maybe I don't really want this point to have a grading, right? Maybe I'm going to... So I might decide like, you know what, maybe I don't really want this point to have grading. I can right click and say convert to non-graded and you see how it automatically added in grading here. Then I can just go over here, add in some more grading, right? I can copy and then I can right click and mirror paste X and Y. I can select this one again right click convert to non graded point automatically i can then copy right click mirror paste x and y and you can just easily and quickly add in your grading through all of that way so really nice workflow for that to be really successful and how grading has been upgraded now pretty great Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There are so many great videos to help you out in your Clo journey. And keep having fun in Clo. Thanks again.